An Oberlin education is extraordinary and each person experiences it a little differently. What you learn in the classroom is only the beginning. Your adventure will include many experiences and many places, but they're all connected. We call it Engaged Liberal Arts and your journey will begin on the very first day. At Oberlin, every first year student has a PAL. PALs are peer advising leaders. Older students who help volunteer to assist Oberlin first years navigate Oberlin's advising systems. In addition to your PAL, you'll also be able to receive a lot of faculty mentorship and support from the very beginning, especially through your first year seminar. Your first year seminar will introduce you to creative and critical thinking, writing and discussion skills, and acquaint you with the resources available during your time here at Oberlin. My first year seminar was materials at the museum a class that focused on the chemistry behind art and art conservation in the museum field. This helped pave my way to my internship at the Brooklyn Museum in New York City. Internships are a fun and exciting way for students to turn their liberal arts education into action. Students can learn about opportunities, careers, and interests in a real world setting. After working on a statewide political campaign through Oberlin, now I'm working on a senior honors project about gendering the governorship and how to write more effective speeches for female candidates. My first year seminar was Dangerous Allies in Latin America, which is the first class I ever taken on Latino, Latinx people, and that eventually set up the blueprint for what I would eventually research here at Oberlin, which is Latinx students in higher education. Lots of students do research here at Oberlin. There aren't any graduate students, so undergraduates here are able to connect one-on-one -on -one with faculty and staff to ask questions, set up their own research, and do cutting-edge exploration. During my second year, I participated in SOAR, Sophomore Opportunities and Academic Resources. SOAR helped me decide to be a history major. SOAR also introduced me to career communities. Career communities is a way to connect with students, parents, faculty, and alumni who share interest or expertise in a particular employment sector. Participants gain skills and experience relevant to their career interests, as well as gaining course credit and a summer internship. I participated in a career community in which I got to intern at the Rachel Carson Council. At the RCC, I contributed to their research on renewable energy, and I also got to do some of my own research on climate migration, which was published on their website this year. Winter term is an immersive four-week experience in January that allows students to pursue interests they wouldn't otherwise get to during their regular semester offerings. Winter term projects can be group projects or individual projects and can take place on campus or anywhere in the world. During one of my winter terms, I traveled to Tokyo where I studied taiko drumming and developed a virtual taiko drum using Wii remotes. This led me to further delve into the relationship between gesture and sound, which was at the core of my junior recital. Lots of OB study abroad for a semester, over the summer, or even during winter term. You can choose from Oberlin sponsored programs or 90 affiliated programs. Oberlin will help you coordinate everything. During my study away experience in Spain, I recognized many patterns of anti-immigrant sentiment and other political issues that I had studied at Oberlin beforehand. Once I returned back to the US, I got an internship in San Francisco, California, my hometown, where I worked on related issues. Community-based learning happens when faculty and community leaders work together to identify goals and needs of the community, and faculty work to incorporate those through research projects and other course curriculum. It's great for the students and for the community leaders. My community-based learning experience through the Africatown Community Collaboration Project, where I was conducting interviews surrounding environmental injustice, led me to pursue an unorthodox study away experience in New Zealand, pursuing oceanography research and learning how to sail. During my time here at Oberlin, I've researched in multiple languages and countries. I have interned on multiple political campaigns and I have studied away, which together allowed me to pursue my German scholarship. So with all these options, which path will you choose? What will you do and what connections will you make along the way? It's okay if you don't know right now. Why? Because along the way, your advising network support system is with you every step, and they'll make sure that you get the best personal experience for you at the end of all of this, ranging from your advisors to your fellow peers, career development support, and even research staff. You'll always find what works best for you through every step of the journey. These four years at Oberlin will be an incredible gift because your only responsibility is to simply explore, learn, and grow. I can't predict your path, but I guarantee it will be as limitless as you are.